What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel if this background looks familiar the Aurora Borealis of Forza Horizon 4 that's because we are now on Forza Horizon 4 on the PC so here today we're to find out how different is it on PC compared to Xbox One well first and foremost it looks a little bit better personally uh, so we're actually here on Fortune Island in our 370 with the wheel fully working, our handbrake and everything works as well. We have our force feedback and everything all set up. So we're here today just to test and get a little sideways here on Fortune Island in the winter. It's winter in the game, it's winter outside. So we're going to see how this feels and kind of do a little comparison, I guess, and see how it feels different from uh, Xbox compared to on PC. It runs a little bit smoother for my eyes. It's uh, definitely higher frame rate and everything like that. My tablet does not work, so I gotta get that working. So first drifts here on PC. The wheel does feel very light, but I do have the force feedback turned down in the game. I gotta turn it back up because I thought it was a little bit rough. So we're gonna get up top, and then we're gonna adjust the force feedback back up. And I don't think it's set on 900, so we need to double check that as well. But for first feel of the game, it does feel a little different. I mean, it looks different as you can see because we do have the pedal cam and the wheel cam going on for today. My, unfortunately, my like I said, my tablet does not work, but my little display on my wheel works and tells me what gear I'm in. But we need to uh, get the tablet running as well and get the wheel feeling a little bit tighter than it does now. It's definitely cool to be back here on Forza Horizon 4. It's been a minute. I know a lot of people have been asking for some Horizon 4 content. So we're here getting sideways in the snowy mountains of Fortune Island just to get back the feels in our Street Tune 370Z. Not my best run uphill. The game, like I said, it looks so much better. It runs a lot smoother. I feel it's crisper. The Obviously the frame rate's a lot higher. And uh, my GPU is not even, not even worried. It's like 60%, no, no problems. It's on ultra settings. Looks so much better. So glad I have this on digital copy and was able to play this. Got to get another Forza Motorsport 7 because I did not get that on digital. So I'm gonna have to get a Forza Motorsport 7 copy so that I can get back for SSR and everything like that. So we're gonna adjust our settings. The one thing I did notice is the menus are so much quicker. The load times are so much faster and it's just, it's just, it's much quicker of a game when you're on PC. So we are gonna go in and go with our settings, controller settings, wheel, advanced. I don't know these, so we're gonna kick this up to, we'll go up to 75, we'll go up to 75. We'll leave everything else how it is because I'm not, Oh, steering sensitivity, there we go, 100%. That's what I was looking for. Everybody was always asking when I did my wheel settings why they didn't have um, degrees. Well, that's because on PC it's sensitivity, and now I see that. So our sensitivity is back up to 100, so hopefully now this should uh, make the wheel feel you know, somewhat better, and we can actually get a proper slide Got a little more force feedback. Slam so thing in third gear. Oh yeah. Much more feedback. And the sensitivity is definitely 900 now. It's it's a little twitchier. I could adjust my fan attack. Oh, actually. That sensitivity is really sensitive. So, I don't think that's actually degrees. See, I'm learning as we're doing this. We're gonna go wheel, we're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna put the sensitivity back to where it was, which I believe was 50. We're gonna save that, but we're gonna go back and we're gonna switch our Fanatec sensitivity to 900. So that should automatically set it to where it's 900 degrees in the game, regardless of sensitivity. Oh yeah, there we go. A quick adjustment of my Fanatec setup and now it feels good. 
I think it, the wheel feels much better here on PC because it's a proper 900 degrees with a quick adjust of the Fanatec rig. I feel like if you're on G920, you gotta adjust sensitivity settings and stuff like that to get it to go how you want to. But I am having so much fun ripping the mountains here on Horizon 4 again. Definitely been missing the Forza feels. Been doing a lot of Assetto, but we're back. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of you are found in the description box below. Forza Horizon 4 making its way back to the channel for you guys. A lot of you guys have been requesting it. So it's here. Back with the skids. On the snowy mountain roads. I love this Z. I think we're going to switch up to maybe a quicker car. See what kind of cars we can get to. If you notice the menu change, how quickly everything moves. Like, just it's so much faster and so much more crisp. So, uh, let's go with M3. No, no, where's my e where's my M4? Where is there? It is get the M4 out, pull the M4 out. So, like I said, make sure you follow me on all social media if you want to keep seeing Horizon 4 on the channel make sure you tap the like button do and do subscribe I do appreciate all the support M4 we're gonna rip it up the hill oh I'll say we have somebody trying to tandem with us oh, I feel like it's much more proper of a wheel feel on PC I know I said that before but like the fact that it's 900 degrees and everything now, it's more of a proper feel. We're definitely going to be switching it up into first person with the drift head motion and see what that feels like compared to a set of Corsa with the real head motion that goes based on your wheel, not the angle of the car. I know Content Manager in the set of Corsa has a head motion app that we can start messing with, which I probably will be doing on another episode. So good. I miss this game. Definitely going to be coming back to Horizon 4 more. I do miss it. And now that it runs so much better and the wheel feels so much nicer, it's coming back. Online sessions and stuff like that as well will be coming here for you guys. Once I get some of my internet settings and everything set up and servers and all that stuff on the rig, we will do some stuff, but I feel like Forza Horizon 4 is easier to get online with you guys because no real servers needed. Kind of just go online session and get in a party and start sliding. I am working on my Discord server so that when I am online, if you guys are in a session with me, we will be able to do voice chats and talk just like we did on Xbox. I love this M4. All right, so let's switch up views. I'm not sure what, nope. I don't know what view button is. Um, nope, that's rewind. That's view. We found the view button. All right, so now we gotta make sure drift head motion is on. So let's go settings, uh, HUD and gameplay. Is it in here? Cockpit drift camera's on. Yep. Okay. Except. So let's see what we can do in first person. Got my dog squeaking on a toy in the background. If you hear a little random squeaking, it's, it's her chewing on her little Kong toy. She's here, and she likes Flo's Horizon 4 as well. There we go. So we're going to see how the feel is. I feel like being on a set of Corsa for a little bit of time getting used to real head motion has made me a little bit more used 
to a drift camera because if you guys remember when I was on Xbox running drift camera as I said I spin out running drift camera on Horizon 4 originally I wasn't able to get the hang of it it felt weird to me it felt very unorthodox the way it was turning and not looking where I needed it to but I got used to real head motion and now I feel like it's helped probably should fine-tune this a little bit but it is very very fun so like I said make sure you guys follow me on all social media platforms all of which are found in the description box below my PC settings and my PC build and my uh, wheel settings well wheel setup are all in the description box as well if you guys want to know what PC I am running make sure you guys check out the PC build video where I go through all the parts and the specs we're going to finish this run off downhill, and that will do it for this episode here on Horizon 4. Dipping our toes back into Forza here on the PC, and it's uh, it's stunning, and it's fun. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.